dog there, have you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where's he gone? Right, who's that? <laughs> right, where are we? We've got a signal. Buh, 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 buh. Who's that? Hello, replay views. Hello, Barry. I'll just try a new location. We'll see what the signal's like. Let's have a wander down here. Uh, right, let's have a little wander down here. Hopefully this is a signal. It's a nice place. It's like a little country park. Hopefully we've got a signal for you to share the uh, the images. Just watch where my footing's going. There isn't a there isn't a fence up here. This one. It's a bit better than last time when it was raining. Seems quite popular, lots of people about. Dog walkers. It's like a little stream that goes all the way up. So it just started, I was trying to explore this place last week, but it was, uh, started throwing it down with rain, so it's nice and chilly today. Should be a bit, uh, I say it's probably coming the weekend, there's probably a lot of people about, so. We'll just wait up if it's probably worth coming in the week. You've got to be careful because there's no fence. It's easy to fall over this edge. Yeah, Barry's in, drag race is in, Venus is in. Marco is gone. She talked to Marco earlier and he just disappeared. A bit more daylight now. It won't rain anyway, so just take your time. There's a lake I didn't explore last time I come. It's like a big lake. Oh. Oh, there's a fence where it's not too high. <laughs> There's, there's, a, there's a fence where it's not high and, and no fence where it's really high. Some dogs about. Lots of things to smell. <laughs> Hopefully we've got a signal. I'm sort of in a I'm just going deeper and deeper into the woods, so we'll see how we go with signal. Let me give me some feedback on the picture, and if I lose you, I'll just keep trying to reconnect. Hopefully, we'll get me regular viewers in. I see Marco and Roland and Darby in. I'll just come back somewhere nice. See if we get some viewers in.
just trying to take my time until I've been long legs. I'm always walking quick. I'm just trying to just trying to take my time. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the scenery. Just take a few stops. Where's Barry watching from? Who have we got in? There's Venus, Barry, drag racer. Welcome. Welcome to Biddulph. Uh, I mean, if you're used to, if you're a British person, it's like we're near to Biddulph Grange. It's like a, an old National Trust property. This is the country park around the back. Biddulph Grange is like a very old, uh, an old house you can visit and gardens. And then this is the free park around the back, which I only, only found last week. And I've been driving past Biddulph Grange for years and I didn't realise there was this this park around the back. With the stream running all the way through it. Let's see if we can find any any nice views. There's some nice eyes. Yeah, so we're in the countryside, so I don't know where I might lose you a few times. Signal's a bit iffy around here, I think. Let's see how we go. Oh. Nice steady walk in there. Just keep my eye on comments. Anybody wants to call in, have a chat. Tell me what you're up to today. Oh, London. Bermondsey, cool. London's in the house. That's the problem when you obviously broadcast into the world, you get all the different uh, time zones in. I've said Marco, one from Miami. He's five hours behind. Darby's in Colorado, she comes on sometime. She's seven hours behind. California's eight hours. Uh, see how we go with the. Uh, hopefully, see some. Uh, hopefully, see some new. Uh, some new. Some new viewers. Let's go up this way. Because if you follow that anymore, it uh, you have to climb up lots of stairs. So we'll just try and stay on the flat today. I'll go explore the. Uh, I'll go explore the lake at the back. I'll go explore the lake. I hear the wind blowing, but uh, hopefully we'll be sheltered a bit from the from the wind. I can hear it blowing, but uh, I just hope we have a. It's a bit better than yesterday where I went. So we go in. Who's that? Hello, eighteen. <laughs> Hello. Still got a little bit of snow about. Got no fresh snow. Got some snow on the grass. Just little flakes of snow on the grass. Ooh, hello. Who's that? Hello. Welcome to my nature walk at uh, Biddulph, uh, Biddulph Grange Country Park. Let's have a little wander. 
There's three different routes we can go on. Red, blue and black. Red, blue and black. I wonder if they have any squirrels around here. I don't see any squirrels, there's some birds. Hello Michael, Valiant. Just have a little explore. Anybody wants to uh, tell me what they're up to, where they're watching from, what your weather's doing. This is uh, UK and Stoke on Trent, just north of Stoke on Trent in Biddle, just outside Stoke on Trent, in the northwest of England, near to Manchester. I've just got a bird on my scope then, where's he going? Yeah, this is always the uh, this is always the fun of uh, just coming on these nice little nature walks. You never know what you're going to see. Hopefully, the wind isn't too bad for you. It's quite. It's been quite. Uh, it's the weather said about minus five today, so it feels about zero. And then if you've got the wind blowing, it makes it a lot more chilly. But, uh, we're semi-rural, so. Where we are at the moment, we'll hopefully have some some coverage away from the route because we're going through like a forest. Some coverage away, some some coverage with the trees. Just trying to place what that beard is with the orange beak. Yeah, just take a time and have a good look around. See what we can see. If we'll see any squirrels. There's a nature reserve, so there's lots of uh, there's lots of bird boxes. And, uh, I was in here for about half an hour yesterday because, uh, well, yesterday, last week, when the uh, it started to rain heavily, so I just cut me exploring a bit short. around this lake. I wander around this lake. Oh. Just waiting for the Millwall match. Which you're going to do red, blue or black. I don't know, we'll start with the we'll start with the easy one. It's quite windy you might just let me know if you can't hear me. I'll try and put my hand my hand around the Around the phone. Let's look at this. I uh, got a lot of wind today, so hope you can hear me. Oh yeah, it's all lake and hydroelectric scheme. Where are we? Biddulph, Biddulph Brook starts as a spring on Biddulph Moor at the source of the. Oh yeah, we need the source of the River Trent. That's where I've just started. And then we're just coming up this path. We just got to this water. And we'll just explore around the back of here. All this up here, I think I'll go all around here. So if you follow that, if you follow that water all the way up, it gets very a lot of stairs you have to go up. I'm just trying to avoid the uh, the stairs for today. Yeah, it's a shame because obviously with the uh, They're allowing you to walk around here, but obviously the visitor centre is closed, so there's no toilets or, or food or hot drinks, so they're just allowing you to get your daily exercise, which you're allowed to do, so. Just have a wander around. Obviously I'm doing what Periscope was designed for, to, to share my part of the world through my eyes, and uh, I'll have a wander around. Enjoy a bit of Grange Country Park. Can see any wildlife. See a few birds. Oh, there's a 
Yeah, basically just saw those three signs and then where I am now, it just, uh, this is just walking the, like a lake path, so I don't know what this one's part of. Just going around the lake, see if we can see any birds. Oh, it is quiet. So I don't know, we'll go with wind noise. Oh, I can't control, I can't control the wind noise, but... I just haven't got professional enough yet to have a proper microphone. I should have I forgot bringing like a little bag if you just put your phone in a your phone in a bag. I'm just trying to keep my hand around the the microphone at the bottom. So we're basically in a big uh, a big forest type area, so if you just keep in constant if you just try and keep in constant contact with me then I I know if there's a signal. Just give me some emojis or hearts or comments or ring in. Just hoping that we just have about three people to call in. Marco, Roland and Derby. Just to keep me here. To let me know how the quality is when I can go to these new locations. Just have a little wander around and uh, see how we go. So if you type any comment and I miss it, I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just... Uh, they just scroll up that quick. I sometimes miss them, so just just say you know, read comment above if I've uh, not read your comment. That's an old boathouse over there. I think I don't know a lot of the history of where I am, but I'll uh, I will uh, I will return here if the signal's okay and the weather's a bit warmer. Yeah. My first time I visited here was uh, about a week ago. And it was raining heavily, so I just cut it short. Had a quick look around, and then uh, so I'll come back when this one it's cold. It's not raining, so it's going to be quite blustery. So I'll keep my phone around the uh, my hand around the phone. See any birds today? Oh. Let's see where this path goes. I still see snow on the ground. Snow over there. I've had no fresh snow. It feels cold enough to snow. But uh, I think it's better to have a I'm trying to decide if it's better to be cold than raining because when it's raining it's still cold anyway so you've got rain and cold or just cold I'm just exploring this it's a big place lots of uh, lots of path to explore and some seats to sit on when it's a bit warmer can't see any birds today it's all the all the water's frozen yeah, there's some sort of hydroelectric scheme apparently. Uh, I'll have to look into the, uh, the history when the, uh, the visitor centres open. Yeah, I don't know if they have many birds on here. There they are. See the countryside over there. Let's see if we can see the countryside where we are. Just surrounded by, uh, just surrounded by hills and fields. It's a good spot where I live, Stoke on Trent. We've got a, uh, which is very near to the countryside, a few miles away from the countryside. So, oh, where is that path I was trying to find? This is a walk you can go on. So it looks like it's up bank, so I don't know where. Uh, I don't know if it will improve or not as we go higher and higher. There's another frozen piece of water. I say I think all this has been built to keep the canals full because I live near the. Um, I live near the canals, the Calden Canal and the Trent and Mersey Canal, so. This has all been built to keep the um, to keep the canals full up. One of the many reservoirs we've got. 
so it's always uh, nice to have a call in in these locations so I know I've got a, got a signal we'll just see how we go we'll wander around see if we can find some of those some of those signs that tell us about the different walks Easy walk, long walk. Uh, this is what's known as the mile or obelisk walk. Up that way. Let's have a look at this sign. The path and the large area into the tunnel at the top of the hill has two names, the mile walk and the obelisk walk. The walk is an extension of Wellington, Welling, Wellingtonia Avenue. And the formal garden was designed in 1848 by James Bateman to provide a vista from Mrs. Bateman's boudoir. The path was originally comprised of white sand, creating an optical illusion of an obelisk when viewed from the garden. The name Mile Walk is derived from the distance between Bedoff Grange and the gamekeeper's cottage on the other side of the tunnel. Wellingtonia walk with steps, huge ears at the end of Wellingtonia Avenue. Boathouse, mile walk, incline up to the tunnel. Fish pond. Right. Let's make our way up here. Let's see if it looks uh, navigable. I think all the, the mud's frozen anyway, so we should be alright. Hello. <laughs> I've been up here before. Is it nice and brisk? Is it up this bank? Yeah. First time I've been up this bit. Yeah, I <laughs> I just found this park. I found this park last week when it was raining, so I didn't. I just had a little bit where the water was, you know, and yeah. uh, explored the back end yet. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I thought at least there'd be no more. It'll all be frozen anyway. <laughs> So that's one good thing. Oh, let's see if the reception's working. I might start losing connection if we go too far away. Let's see if I've lost you. I think I might have lost you. Let's just check. I've still got a connection. Uh, da, 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 da. 2316. 23. No, oh, it's still running. Are you still there? Anybody there? Let's retweet. Let's share live. Let's share it back out again. Let's share it on. Perhaps. Let's share it on. Twitter. And then let's share it on. Facebook. Let's see what that does. Let's see if we can get anybody else in. Right. Let's go where everybody else is going. Oh, still the mud's frozen. There seems a lot of people about anyway. I just thought I just want to don't don't want to come and there'll be nobody here. So it's a big place. You can see people dotted about, walking the dogs. Oh, it's a nice inclined to get a walk. Get, apparently, this is a mile walk, so there must be something from the top of there that went all the way down there to get like a view. There's a house at the bottom called Bidoff Grange. And then this must have been made to be a, something to look at at the top of this uh, bank. I thought it'd be good to come. Uh, I thought it'd be good to come when the when the ground's frozen. Get a bit of a 
عوض ماده sure about signal up here so I'll just I'll keep going I don't know if I'm still broadcasting I might restart when I get to the top oh, okay. I can see something at the top See something at the top. Oh, that doesn't look natural. Oh, wow, we're climbing. That's how the, uh, the signal gets better. It says I've got 4G. Just keep going until we get to the top. I might restart a few times to make sure. Well, I'll just do a few short scopes to make sure I'm uh, recording the footage so I can document where I've been. It goes miles and miles over there. I don't know where the boundary line is. It's massive. I thought this would be uh, attract some viewers in. I think I'm talking to myself, I think, today. Just trying to find the interesting places to get the viewers interested. I have to keep motivated if nobody's watching. And if I have one day without a scope, they'll be saying, aren't you scoping today? Oh, I'm trying to keep my motivation in the, the cold weather. Just try and do a daily scope. Just got my routine now. Oh, back. This is a good climb. Take your time. Unless it's all down bank. When we get to the get to the top. Just basically going to that cave and then coming back down, like it's just a dead end up there, is it? Once you've visited, yeah, yeah. yeah and you can go that way, yeah. don't go that way, All right? Yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, let's go visit this cave at the top. Oh, there's a cave. Oh. This is a good climb. Oh wow. Oh. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, this will be better with it. I'm glad all the mud's frozen. That's one good thing. Oh wow, it's natural. That's a natural feature of a cave. Oh wow, let's go have a look. This will be fun trying to get up here with the without the ground frozen. Ooh, cave. 
cave. Oh. Oh. Cave. Oh, wow. Made it. Oh, just walked all down there. Let's get a let's get a let's get a photo of that. I'm up this way. Oh, let's go get a photo. Is that? Oh, this is what I could do with me. My torch on. See what's in this. Uh, see what's in this cave. Let me see if I've got a torch function. Let's see if I've got a torch function. How deep this cave goes. T. T. O. R. T. O. R. R. This tunnel is like a cave. Probably oh, those reception if I go too far in. This must be a natural feature. Uh, this is on the grounds of the building, and we've got like a, a mile walk. You must be able to look at the house, and you can see this cave. Right, I've made it. Let's see if I can get the cave on my phone. Let's take another photo of it in case I, I get no reception. <sighs> 